Yeah, we built this guitar and it was kind of fun. And we're gonna talk about it a little bit and uh, I'm gonna show you how we built this guitar. This is the first guitar that me and my son built. He's in a rock band called Roblox Band. I'll leave a link in the video description below if you guys are interested. They just won Battle of the Bands at Largo High School. Uh, what was it, like a few weeks back? Mm -hmm. I wanted um, a father-son project to do. This was a birthday gift for him. Uh, and we've just been sitting on it for like six months. But uh, if you just want to skip ahead in the video and just watch how we built this guitar, you could do that. But uh, what are the challenges that we ran into building this guitar? Well, it didn't come with any instructions. So we just kind of had to look at a bunch of reference images, which was really hard because, you know, all every guitar is in it. It's like, Wire different. Yeah, every guitar is different. Every yeah, there's like different builds. Um, there's a Stratocaster semi semi uh, hollow body guitars, which is that's what this is. Uh, we wanted a '50s style guitar because uh, he likes Back to the Future and that scene with Johnny. Um, he, he's playing Johnny Be Good. Uh, Michael J. Fox is jamming out, and this was kind of like the similar style guitar that he was using in that movie Back to the Future. That that last scene. I found it on Amazon for around $150. It's very sentimental. Yeah. Right? Me and my dad bonded a lot. Yeah. And it's memories. When you look at the guitar, you don't look at the guitar and be like, hey, uh, nice looking guitar. You look at it now and you're like, you know, you remember the time that we built it. What is the hardest thing that we ran into building the guitar? I'd say wiring the pots. It was really tricky trying to get that little magnetic wand and trying to fish the cables inside of them and yeah and then just finding the wire diagram because there was no instructions in the box so i didn't know that there's like different ways to wire a guitar there's 50 style grounding and we wanted to do the 50 style uh, wiring because this is kind of like a 50 style guitar <clears throat> um, oh another thing that was really difficult was painting it right yeah me and my mom tried standing it with this gray wood stand but we weren't we aren't professional standers. That's not something you just get up and do. It's a tech yeah, it's a technique. Yeah, I agree. That's not something that you just like can, can uh, make master overnight. So we decided to take it to Mako and my dad chose the color as a surprise. Yeah, so I took it to Mako. I looked at the guitar that was in that movie, um, Back to the Future, and it was a classic red look, and the guy at Mako said, uh, you should go with um, Porsche Red, which is kind of like a classic red look. That, so in his um, book at Mako, it's called Porsche Red, if you're wondering. Uh, cost us, um, I think, 90 or $95 to get it painted at Mako, but we had to take it all apart, which is, of course, already all apart because we got it build the guitar <laughs> but this is the second uh, guitar that we got painted first guitar we built second one we painted so I know the guy did a good job and I was really debating if I should just stick with classic red because if you add pearl it changes the color a little bit so I, w I went ahead and uh, went with uh, gold pearl paint that's with um, the red it's, uh, if you look at it in the sunlight it has a shimmer of gold in it which is kind of cool and then um, this was all chrome when we got it. Um, these caps were gold, but everything else was chrome, which uh, I wanted it to match the caps. So I told um, the Mako owner, and his name is Ali, and he decided we decided to paint it gold also. So it came with these pickups, the humbucker pickups, and all this, and he painted it all gold, and it came out great. And it doesn't even peel. And he clear coated everything. Um, the guitar is clear coated, so it, it's protective um, clear coat over it. Uh, all these pickups, the bridge, everything's covered in uh, clear coat, which is awesome. And he also painted the neck, as you can see right here. And this right here, he didn't paint. We we decided to buy um, gold machine heads. It came with chrome ones, but the gold ones were I think 15, 20 bucks. weren't too much money. And then right here. We got the gold plate 
and and then the right here the jack is also gold so if you can see that you can see the I don't know if you can see the pearls in it but yeah it looks pretty cool we like it but the only thing is, is um, right here the neck we had an issue with where it didn't like if you see how that it's separated right there it, it told us to use wood glue to put the neck onto the body but we decided not to because it didn't clamp on flush so we decided to go with these four screws right here and so it bites into that that neck will bite into the body better and it feels more secure uh, so I highly suggest doing that versus the wood glue um, so how's the playability Dom? Um, it's really good. It's just that if you let it sit in the box for a long time, the neck dries out and that kind of feels weird, but overall it's really nice. There's not dead, there's no dead frets anywhere. Um, there was a dead fret, but, but that was because the neck didn't sit properly on the body. Yeah, that was just a slight adjustment, uh, but overall it's pretty good. It stays in tune really nicely. Um, feels nice, I could play on it for days. If you were gonna buy this at the store, what do you like compare it to? Like a um, $100 guitar, $200, $500 guitar, $800 guitar? Well, complete, like... Like this? I'd say like, probably like $250. $250 guitar? Yeah. I mean, we're not professional builders. The one at the store is going to be a way better buy. Definitely. A better guitar because, you know, professionals built it. But uh, I think we did a pretty good job considering it's our first guitar that we built and it does play pretty good and good at learning experience and sentimental. So this is how we uh, built the gu guitar.
a lot nicer than I expected it to be. Like, I'm not saying I was expecting it to be really bad, but like... I know what it is, is this right here we had to adjust. We had to adjust the saddle and the height of the bash. Um, you out and it was informative don't forget to share it and um, click the like button this took us a while to build it was uh it was just us putting it's the wiring it was a tough part the wiring but uh we had to upgrade all these parts because we wanted to of course all be gold so we, it took a little while to order uh we'll come and get in the mail and getting all these parts together uh, but yeah, I think it, like, it came out pretty decent considering that we didn't know what the heck we were doing. Yeah. If you know anyone that this video will help, any guitarists that want to build their own guitars, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. And if you want to subscribe to Tampa Tech for more how-to videos like this, click on the sub subscribe link right here in front of his face or down below. And if you want to check out my other um, music videos on my music playlist. Uh, just click on um, this right here. Mm -hmm.